No, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure what to expect watching this pilot because the art star kind of grabbed my attention and a YouTuber that I just sort of accidentally follow started talking about this and grabbed my attention and got sort of curious what is Oscar trading. And it was sort of like a deep rubber hole understanding what this anime part is about. And you know what? I'm not disappointed because I will laugh my ass off. To compare this indie pilot is compared to the different indie pilot. It's very similar, at least in characters and design of Hasbro Hotel and Bessie Hell the Boss. But this is used more kind of in sci-fi genre with a dark, clever edge to it. But it never super edgy like the Hell the Boss and and Hasbro Hotel. He has sort of moments to develop, understand our main lead, and does it in a very clever way that, believe me, it just surprised you. Of course, before I continue, my name is Retro. I like to talk about animation, not just animation. I like to talk about reviews, first impressions, cartoon theories, and sometimes, and have some spare time, cartoon breaking news. Of course, you'll like how it's going, you'll like to help my channel, comment, and subscribe. That's the only thing you need to do. Maybe not, that's fine too. If you do, thank you, because of you. I am getting close to my main goal of 2,000 subscribers. You am getting close every single time someone put like, comment, and share. Now let's start with the indie gem we're going to talk about. Uh, outside, outside sources. I'm sorry. I'm a little starry. Now let's get started. Now I see a lot of indie projects sometimes by accident, sometimes on purpose. And today was sort of by accident because YouTube sort of recommend me to watch Colleen Awesome Trading. That I have never heard of it, never seen promotion. I've not seen a lot of animated, a lot of animated fans talking about it because maybe because this is specifically a sector of the fans who love SCP. If you don't know what that is, SCP is basically between uh, the Twilight Zone and Black Mirror. Basically, finding sort of specific items, creatures, or location who is have almost supernatural powers or alien forces, but taking those specific things, dragging in a specific building, and research the hell out of it, figuring out how does it work, can we use it to the advantage, and what's your story. And that is basically SCP. It's just to study very unique ideas of the world that is too dangerous to leave out. But they focus that specific idea, what if we find an alien creature who is an eyeball who is basically your god. And that's just sort of strange, but at the same time it makes sense in the narrative of this pilot because you find out this god is actually an alien race called Ass. As is sort of an Irish Joe who is not a dumbass, but he goes with the flow, whatever people say to him, till his friend of me calls them, tells them, Hey buddy, I have a good deal with you. Let me sell you the human race. And he explains what he means, sell you the human race. Because in their world, they hate alien race, their main goal is find new evolution of creatures and buy them and put them as trades. Like buying a company like Disney or Netflix sort of stock. But the stock only works if the more people they have, the more higher the stock goes. The less people uh, they have, the stock goes down. And that's the problem. As got scored by his friend and me to buy a human race stock. But he realized no, I'm not getting screwed here. I would do whatever I can to actually make this work. But he did something he shouldn't have helped the human race to evolve by accident, raising the stock, asking a lot of questions. Why the human race just jump its stock? It's almost impossible. It takes time and it just uh, fear it out to evolve faster. And this is the problem with ass. He started figuring out. Well, I got school over. I school myself even more. Know what I'm gonna do to the cops start asking questions. But top of all this, the organization SCP 
capture him or attempt to capture him to answer specific questions what you really are and i feel that's sort of the most interesting thing about this because as does not know what he is or what to explain because he could get more in trouble if he start explaining because the more he talking to the human race the more influence he gets to the human race to evolve even faster so he's basically stuck in a hard place in a rock he can't really escape just the late the metal blow but it's just sort of interesting to see as how he's sort of freaking out how he attempt to explain or not explain certain specific things it's just sort of out there it's sort of how to explain but yet it's just so interesting and funny i mean funny this is truly funny it's sort of like how the best subscriber how to describe this it's basically sort of hello balls and has been hotel type of comedy but done even better because they try a little bit too hard of that Pacific IP compared to this indie IP who does cause do you do basically adult jokes like drugs, but it never goes far. It's just sort of the conversation, like being a smart ass, but being very cocky, saying weird stuff, comparing things that it just really you don't need to compare to, but they just cuss it out to make it more sense. Like a normal Kind of conversation. Someone you met in the street is like to cuss, but only cuss it feels it's sort of necessary. And that's what makes outsider training so unique. You just want to see what ass would do, especially with the SCP on his tail, that he can easily change whatever he is because Ash is not a normal alien race. Ash is sort of a fourth or fifth dimensional creature who can actually slip out of reality whatever he wants but he has still control for now and that's the thing he just sort of grabs your attention he is sort of freaking out not know what to do but yet you so interesting what he does next because he has limited power but doesn't mean he will not get in trouble and arrested in jail of his own people it has a lot of interesting ideas that's just so interesting and fun it's sort of hard to explain it that way now the other thing that just grab your attention is the art the art is not amazing it's very limited but yet very creative because he understands it's not the fluency it's sort of the character designs to grab your attention and some of the designs of the characters it is simple but very detailed enough to grab your attention to ask that question. What in, am I watching? What is ass? Like he's just an eyeball with an eye. He has his sort of frenemy, his friend, who is actually an asshole, who also is an eye, but a snake. But once more, as per describe them themselves, I don't know what we are. We just alive, doing our thing, and that's it. But you never really break the animation lore because you just see the animation, you just get what they're trying to do. You understand nothing feel out of place, even if the animation is very limited or the art style, but it works super well. It's like very simple designs to catch your attention. It just works. Of course, I do like the side characters. They are equally as fun to see like Ash frenemy that he sold the human stock he is best describing that sort of sleazy salesman who trying to one up whoever he sells to get more money till he realized oh no i saw ash good stock so trying to scoop him over to get the stock back and that's the type of frenemy ash actually has but yet he's super rude super nasty super over top but all of it is just super funny that you understand this is a cartoon and they fully embrace that insanity but made an adult cartoon it's still adult but it just sort of kind of inflated characters they are super funny like ass ass is just sort of an average show but he likes to cuss 
he's an asshole, but he's sort of freaking out the sort of situation. But you kind of re relate to him because he didn't ask to buy this. He was sort of tricked by his friend. And now he doesn't know what to do. And yet you relate to his character. How nonchalant, but yet he's sort of panicking inside he really is. It's just enjoyable. It just reminds you, the pilot only have about three characters or four. You also have this sort of a Mima creature who he doesn't know who he is, but he just was there. He wake up. According to ass, that's how you rip it up. You just wake up, there's the kid. You just, I don't know what to do, but this Amima is not really a kid. His own identity. He also a talented and violent, but yet he doesn't know what to do with them. And that's kind of funny because they do semi explore this in a few minutes on the first episode. A fact, you also have another character of the entity of SCP. She is basically the, you could say, director who under trying to understand what is ass or ass and trying to take him down to protect the human race. But what's more, you don't know much about her. She just sort of asking questions. Of course, we don't know she will be continuing on, on next episode or not. But be that said, this is just fun. It's just super interesting because the first episode trying to grab you because we just see ass respective other horrific things, but he just see livestock. He's just like, oh my god, that poor man who basically killed a bunch of infants for his god. And you, you, you're your person, you, you cry trying to help out. And Ash just like, oh my god, my stock is ruined. And just like, what? And that's the funnier part. Because his point of view is just sort of dark and simple. But yet you get what he's saying because he invested the human race. And that's sort of the dark comedy of this. But it does have good taste. Because sometimes uh, dark humor works or fails depends how you set it up. Sometimes people think just making dark humor it, that it works. No, no. Dark humor has a very specific to do it. You know how to set it up and actually point out the weirdness of it. It actually does work. Like cutting off your arm to actually get a key. But what's more, the person cutting your arm is a zombie. So doesn't actually is horrific or like what you expect I could move my arm and that's the thing is just focus on the cleverness of the dark humor if they understand it so well of the first body in fact I do recommend watch this channel but also watch another short he made connected to the pilot because that pilot that short actually adds more story to the pilot to understand as a certain point of view a little bit more because he does explain that small little story just to recommend you because there's still a lot of things not fully explained on the pilot he has a little explanation a little other videos but when we look for that specific one it's sort of the next one they recommended but besides that you ever heard of outside of training are you interested in watching this especially are you a fan of basically uh hello boss or uh Hasbro town because they have the same humor but outside of training does it better at least on my opinion i don't know you have you ever seen it do you want to watch it tell me down below let me know i got nothing else to say just thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day bye